Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcade Economics on a Wednesday morning and had a bit of news out from Kuya Silver recently that wanted to pass along and walk through with you as Kuya is set to begin the largest drill program ever at their Silver Kings project in Cobalt, Ontario. They're getting set for a 6,000 meter diamond drill program. Follow up on the Bonanza grade silver mineralization they recently found at the Campbell Crawford location, where they had 15,372 grams per ton silver over 3.34 meters and 2,424 grams per ton silver over 2.49 meters. And now they are getting set to do some follow up drilling on that. They've also done follow up surface stripping at the Campbell Crawford and Ergo areas, which have uncovered three veins that are all open along strike, which include the Angus vein, McNamara vein, and Clark vein. And the work they've done there also shows the potential for other deposit areas, including Oxbow, Clifton, and North Beaver Lake Falk, as well as the Chukuni and Caswell target areas. And now they're getting set for the 6,000 meter program set to begin shortly and focused on expanding the mineralization at Campbell Crawford, which includes the Angus and McNamara veins, but they also may be testing some of these other targets. Kuya did a 3,500 meter drill program earlier in 2023, where the focus was the North Drummond target, although the Campbell Crawford area also had some limited drill testing which is where they intersected the high-grade mineralization of 15,000 grams per ton over 3.34 meters in the Angus vein and the 2,424 grams per ton silver over 2.49 meters. And following the completion of that program, an excavator and high-pressure water pumps were brought on site to expose the veins at surface, with the two veins exposed at Campbell Crawford being the Angus vein and the McNamara vein. And minor cobalt and nickel mineralization were identified, which is suggestive of mineralization at depth. And then the excavator was moved to the adjoining Ergiod property, where the Clark vein was exposed for 125 meters along strike and had similar potential for high-grade silver cobalt mineralization at depth. And following that, the excavator was moved to the southern part of the property to test several other areas, including Oxbow, Clifton, and North Beaver Lake Fault. And Kuya's exploration model and team believe that the vein structures are suggestive of strong mineralizing systems that may blossom out at depth near the diabase contacts. And this is based on the results that Kuya announced back on June 29th, where they talked about how they expanded the strike length of the surface mineralization at the Campbell Crawford area. And this also follows on Kuya's recently closed flow-through financing deal, which raised 1.284 million Canadian and will be in place to help fund the upcoming drill program. So I'll leave the link to all three of these press releases in the description field below. A lot of the details in there that you can dig into. But just wanted to let you know that they did have these results back and are going to begin their drilling program. So congratulations to Kuya as they move their Silver Kings project forward. And this is, of course, in addition to their flagship Bethania project down in Peru that they are taking into production later this year. So you can find out more about that at kuyasilver.com. And going to wrap up for now, but we'll see you again a little bit later today. 